Morrow was uh, 44 years old. She was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer in November of 2009. She passed away on February 28th, 2010 here at University Hospitals. The issues of end of life discussion had never really been had. Everyone was like, oh, we have cancer, but we're gonna fight it. So to have any conversation other than about fighting it would be to be negative and therefore wasn't really had. We had a family meeting with one of the uh, ICU doctors, Dr. Hijal, and um, one of the nurses who had been caring for more of the previous couple of days, he came into the um, meeting with us and that struck me because he didn't have to and a lot of people wouldn't have because that's an uncomfortable meeting. I just think it said a lot about um, the nursing staff's involvement and care that uh, Mike went out of his way to attend that meeting. We saw pretty early it was important not only just to build the trust, but to let them know that this was our intention. They allowed us to be present constantly without making us feel as though we were in the way. It was the family that was the patient. It was not just Mora, um, because they were suffering. I mean, toward the end, I think Mora was becoming more at peace with where she was, but now, we, we still had to redirect the family and, and assist them in coming to terms with it as well. I was outside the door when she passed and uh, she passed peacefully. Um, she didn't seem to be in any pain when she passed and, uh, and there was a lot of grieving and the family definitely came out and acknowledged the nursing and we all hugged and did what we had to do. Well, I would start with thank you. Uh, thank you to them for giving us access. Thank you for helping us take care of her. Thank you for being her advocate. When we couldn't be there. In Maura's experience, and frankly in my mother's before her, um, we met an incredible number of people who did their job with uh, professionalism, uh, grace, um, and human kindness that um, matters to the family in ways that I don't know that they can fully appreciate. And I thank them for that. I'll never forget Maura, I'll never forget her family, and I hope they never forget us.